Anecdotes from the world of opera. Smile at anecdotes that happened to famous people. Richard Wagner idolized his dogs. They accompanied him everywhere. Their names were Fafner, a Newfoundland, or Dreck and Speck, a pair of poodles. He wrote in a letter to his first wife, Minna, You and Peps are my dearest ones. In Riga, he adopted the straying robber. When he had to leave the town by night and fog, thronged by his many creditors, robber did not fit into the carriage, which they prepared for their escape. Wagner and Minna therefore had to take the sea route. The stormy crossing with the Tethys became a legend and the birth of the Flying Dutchman. Without the dog Robber, this opera would not exist. When Wagner composed his Tannhäuser in Dresden, Peps sat next to the grand piano on his pillow. Wagner always had his eyes on the dog when he played what he was composing. During passages in E-flat major, the dog visibly relaxed. Thus, Wagner composed the scene of divine love in E-flat major. But in the case of the Meistersinger, it was the other way round. His landlord's dog, which he was trying to rid of vermin, bit him on the thumb. The wound became so terribly infected that Wagner was unable to write and compose for two months. The Meistersinger remained unpublished and the publisher paid no money. So Wagner once again found himself in a financial blight. Ross, a black Newfoundland, was his favorite, so he got a grave in the garden of Bella Wanfried, right next to Cosima and the Master. The tomb still stands today. There it says, here rests and watches Wagner's ruse. <laughs>